Are you new to Cape Coral, Florida and thinking about buying a house? Well, I got five things you need to consider before you start house hunting. So the first consideration you need to keep in mind is if you want to live on the water and if you're an avid boater. Um, if you are, then the best sections to actually be in Cape Coral is the southeast and southwest sections. There you'll find canals that are much larger, deeper, and also you'll have direct access to the Gulf, and you'll have sailboat access with no bridges. So if you are an avid boater and you have a sailboat or a really big boat, then your best bet would be to look for your homes in the southeast and southwest sections of Cape Coral. The second thing you need to consider when buying a house in Cape Coral is if you are into activities and entertainment. Because if you like going out or you like doing kayaking or going to the beach, then the southeast and southwest sections are going to be best for you. There you're going to find a lot of fine dining restaurants there. You're going to find bars, cigar bars, um, and also you're going to have access to the yearly block parties that go on in that area. And also in the southeast and southwest section, you're gonna be closer to both bridges, the Midpoint Bridge and the Cape Coral Bridge, which takes you right to the Fort Myers Beach, Sanibel and Captiva Islands, and also takes you to the Southwest International Airport. Now, the third thing to take into consideration when looking for a home in Cape Coral is if you're looking for a home, a newer home, but you're on a kind of a tight budget, then you want to look towards the northwest and the northeast sections of Cape Coral. Now, those sections are now recently developing, and also you're going to find a lot of the newer homes and new construction homes out in that area. The only difference is now in the northeast and northwest sections, most of the homes out there are going to be on well water and septic. Now there are a few areas that are going to have city water and sewer, but they're going to have assessments from the city, which gets rolled into your taxes, which is going to give you a little bit of a higher tax bracket. So you want to keep those things into consideration when you're looking to the northeast and northwest. Now if you prefer to live in a gated community, then I have the fourth consideration you need to keep in mind when buying homes in Cape Coral. Because the gated communities in Cape Coral, Cape Coral are going to generally be in the northeast and southwest sections. In the southwest sections you'll see communities such as Cape Harbor, Tarpon Point Marina, Royalty and Sandoval. And in the northeast section of Cape Coral you're going to find the communities like Coral Lakes, Bella Vida and Entrada. Now these areas are very sought after areas and they're all different in HOA fees and those are things that you want to definitely uh, take into consideration especially if you have pets and if you're planning to use the house as a rental income property as well. Now the fifth consideration that you need to keep in mind uh, when looking to buy property in Cape Coral is if you're looking to live in a high-rise luxury living area then there's going to be the southeast and southwest sections of Cape Coral that are going to be most prone for that lifestyle. You have Cape Harbor and Tarpon Point Marina and also you have the sections on Beach Parkway. All of these are high-rise living areas. All of them have beautiful views of looking over the Caloosahatchee River and once again you want to make sure what their fees are and you want to check out what their restrictions are if you plan on using those high-rise living condos for uh, vacation rentals or monthly rentals. So if you're an out-of-state buyer and you're looking to buy a piece of property in Cape Coral or anywhere in Southwest Florida, well give me a call. I personally have been living here for 35 years. I know the area like the back of my hand and I'll be more than happy to guide you through the best areas that are based on your interest and your best criteria. So give me a call. You can reach me at 239-560-2453. My name is Bernie Stiller with Team Stiller Remax Realty Group and you'll be in good hands with me and don't forget we're the key to your future.